In this session, we're going to show you how you can restrict the number of plays a student can play a game in self-paced mode. First thing we want to do, and it doesn't make any difference what game you use, under the Start menu, make sure you choose Self-Paced. Go ahead and enter your questions, graphics, options. I do want to point out under Options, you do have the option to randomize the order of questions Look below for the link for that tutorial. Go to the Publish page, and you're going to notice by default the limit how many times each registered student can play is grayed out. To enable this, simply go up to Participants, Sign In Requirements, choose Sign In Required. This is required to keep track of a specific user and how many times they play a session. I'm going to go ahead and change the number of plays to two. Once I'm done, go ahead and publish. And now I can share that link. Since I have enabled this game to only be played twice, if you want to allow a student a third attempt at this session, all you have to do is go under the reports, click on single player scores, look for that player, and you'll notice that player has two plays of that specific session. Go all the way to the right, and click on that session. If you want to allow only one attempt, then just delete one record. So with that selected, go up to Delete Selected Reports, click OK, and now that student can make a third attempt at that session. If you want to experiment with this, go ahead and create a student account, and you can see for yourself how this works. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us. Until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your training more engaging. Take care.